I've built this pretty sweet rendering machines. They're epic. They've got 64 core processors, dual in both of them. Um, one of them is with 7742s and the other is 7763s. So they're good machines. Um, that's my renderthon for two computers. Um, but I just making this video as much for me as for other people. And it's just because there's problems. Um, you know, if you want to use Epic processors and I want to put them in uh, EATX chassis, then I need to run, you know, it's a server processor and it's Supermicro motherboard. I mean, I've got a choice, Supermicro or Gigabyte. I went with Supermicro. You can't normally use the normal fan control software on it, so you have to figure out something else. So what I've been doing in these is I've been putting Noctua uh, 1300 RPM fans in there. Um, and when you do, it makes the fans ramp up and down. So it's a common problem with Supermicros. They just go up loud and quiet and loud and quiet. And basically what it's doing is it's when the RPM of the fan goes below 600, then the hardware believes the fan has failed or the software, you know, the BIOS, whatever, I don't know, the, the fan controller in the, in the motherboard believes the fan has failed. So it ramps up as fast as it can. It sees it goes above 600. It stops ramping it up. It drops below 600. So that's the problem. Now, the thing is, how do you handle it? And it's pretty easy to handle. Okay. Um, what you want to do is you want to be running this IPMI config windows. Um, and for me, I'm just running it in the command prompt. If you just type in download IPMI CFG, you get to the Supermicro IPMI utilities. So then you can click on there. And right at the bottom of the page, you've got download. And when you come here, you've got three different IPMI utilities you can download. So the, we want the first one and we, I'm running Windows 10. So I'm going to run this. Just continue as a guest. I've already signed in. It's just going to give you some, not signed in, but put my, my email address and stuff. So that's me download it. So this is the downloads and you need to unzip it. So I've just already, you know, copied it, taken it out and go to windows 64 bit. Now what you want to do is you want to run command prompt and I just type CMD and press enter. Now, if you run it in normal command prompt and not as administrator, it's not going to work. I've just taken a directory from here and copy and paste it and did the CD command for change directory. I'm not a programmer. I don't know. Really, this is stuff I did when I was a kid at school, you know. Um, so if you put help at the end, you get a list of all of the commands. And what we're interested in is the fan commands. So right here, you've got these two different fan commands. Fan to get the fan mode, and then fan mode to change it. So I put a hyphen. So this is not running in, in administrator, and you can see it just hangs. So when you run command prompt, you have to run it in administrator to make this work. We're just going to change this directory again. And now when it's running, when you're running it as administrator, you get the details. So you get the supported fan modes, one, two, and four. And that's all you can do. Through this, that's all you can do. So you can't hear them, but I can put them on different modes here, you know. And by putting it on fan one, it just puts it onto full. 
and all that does is it just runs your fans at full blast. So we've got one, two, and four. We don't have zero, yeah? So full is all fans running 100%. Optimal, which is two, is the target speed set to 30% with peripheral zone fixed at 30%. So it's still going to ramp up and down if I'm using, you know, 600, 1600 RPM fans because as soon as it gets to 30% of 1600, that's below 600. So it's going to think they failed. So if I set it to heavy, which is target speed 50%, so 50% of um, 1600 RPM fan, or 1300, sorry, not 1600, 1300 RPM fans, 50% of 1300 RPM fans is 650. So that's why I go with heavy. But you might be able to go with optimal and just set it at 30, depending on how fast your, your fans are spinning. This is the easiest way I know to run the IPMI fans. You just, I mean, IPMI config file. Just open command prompt as administrator and run it directly through there. And then you can do all of the different changes here that you want to do on your system. So this is HW monitor and you can see, <laughs> I love it, all of the 128 cores. I've only got half the memory in here right now. Um, I had just one rendering machine and I had uh, took the memory, half the memory from the one and put it in the other one. So, yeah. 